Hello and welcome to my Nine Splendor video tutorial lesson. In this lesson I'm going to explain how to create and um, use armature in Blender here. So let's get started by scaling up our default cube about there. Going into edit mode by pressing tab and then hit, hit uh, K on the keyboard, loop cut, form a loop cut in the center here. Again another loop cut around the center on both sides of the first cut. And then I'm going to go into object mode, add armature, and then hit Z to switch to wireframe view. And then the first, this um, point in the armature right here is the head of the armature. Up next, the uh, chain is the um, the body of the armature, and then up the chain again would be the tip or the point of the armature. So I'm going to grab the head of the armature and put it about there. Grab the um, point of the armature put it there. Press E which will extrude the armature. And that, that creates uh, another uh, armature piece. Put it about there. Switch into object mode. Select the cube and then select the armature. Hit Control P. Make parent to armature. Don't create groups. And then I'm going to select the armature in object mode and then go into pose mode. And then select a piece of armature, press R, rotate, and whatever axes that you want to rotate in. And that looks really terrible. So I'm going to show you how to fix this uh, problem here. Click on envelope, go into edit mode, press uh, Z here so you can see the inside of the cube and you have three points here which are for the uh, each piece of the armature going to extrude them about there or scale them up actually using the S key and then I'm going to go back into pose mode on select envelope right here which I selected envelope in the beginning there if you couldn't uh, see that because of the quality of the tutorial the video on select envelope, select um, whatever this says here. I don't want to mispronounce it, so I won't even say it. Um, pose mode. Now you'll notice that uh, it deforms much, much better, as you can see. It deforms more like an arm. But in the uh, next tutorial, I'll set up a more advanced rig and the deformations will look a lot nicer. But this is going to conclude this lesson. Thanks for watching.